tonight with our Eric Feldman. He's live at St. Vincent Hospital on the north side of Indianapolis, where Deputy Pickett was taken after that shooting. Eric, uh, how are people remembering him tonight? Well, they're remembering him as not only a great deputy, but a great man. And it's been, as you can imagine, a very tough day in Boone County, throughout the county, but also here at St. Vincent Hospital, as you just mentioned, where Deputy Pickett was taken uh, after he was shot. And today we found out from neighbors, but also from his colleagues, who he was when he was in uniform, but also just as a neighbor. From a high schooler in Brownsburg to a deputy in Boone County, at work, Deputy Jacob Pickett was passionate, a leader. He was absolutely an amazing person, and uh, he was a warrior. At home, Jake was quiet, but funny. He came across as just a, a great guy. And certainly aware. Just Thursday, Deputy Pickett texted his neighbor about something unusual he found and then removed on their shared fence. He never hesitated to help. And a day later, He's reading about his neighbor killed in the line of duty. Sad and it's a tragedy. The thin blue line was shattered. A man who just Friday morning greeted students at Perryworth Elementary with his sidekick and canine, a German shepherd named Brick. Oh, he cared greatly for the dog. He, and uh, several years ago, he was building a separate unit in, in his garage for the, for the dog. A few months ago, he told the Lebanon High School paper, The Pennant, that Brick will do anything I ask him, even if it makes him uncomfortable. And his love, we're told, extended to his other dogs, to his wife, to his two children. Jake would go above and beyond for his kids. Um, he would stop by, which we highly encourage, on duty. Evident to his neighbors. Uh, it's right around the yard. They weren't mowing. They were just riding around on the tractor and things like that. And it was really, it was, it was fun to watch somebody do that. It's always fun to watch somebody, you know, try to teach the kids. Hard days, weeks, months, and years lie ahead for the Pickett family. But they won't be alone, a department and a community ready, willing, and able to help. Now, we're already seeing some of that community coming together. We were told by neighbors tonight that the family's vet actually stopped by the Pickett's home in order to take care of their dogs this afternoon and early evening. Something else that we think is very important to note, and as the Boone County Sheriff put it, Deputy Pickett is giving life even after death, referencing to the fact that Jacob Pickett is an organ donor. I'm live outside St. Vincent's. Eric Feldman, 24-Hour News 8.